I talk to a lot of players that think that the problem with their forehand is because they're not using their non-dominant arm properly. They're not clearing their left arm as they go to hit the ball. And the reason that they think this is because generally they've watched a YouTube video and there's quite a lot of YouTube videos that talk about the importance of the left arm. So players watch themselves back on video, they see that their arm isn't going up there, and they think that that's the cause of the issues with their forehand. So I'm making this video to explain that that isn't the case. The thing that's wrong with your forehand isn't actually the left arm. So I'm gonna explain why that is and talk about what you will need to do to improve the quality of your forehand. Hopefully this video is helpful to you. If it is, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, it's much appreciated if you could do that as well. Okay, let's get into it. When you watch most high level players play, the majority of the time, their non-hitting arm is gonna clear as they go to hit the forehand. But just because it happens most of the time, it doesn't mean that if your arm drops by your side, that is the cause of your problems because there's a big difference between causation and correlation. And what the left arm does is correlation rather than causation. There's actually a number of instances where you see high level players hitting shots when their arm is by their side. Now, a couple of players that I've seen do it fairly regularly are Nadal and Sinner, and obviously they're both amazing players. And just to kind of show you a quick demonstration of what I mean, I can place my hand in my pocket and I can hit a pretty decent quality of forehand with my arm in, or my hand in my pocket, my arm's by my side. And I can do that the other way around as well. So I'm naturally a, a right-handed player, but I'm having to relearn to play left-handed because I've injured my collarbone and if I use it too much, it keeps popping out of place. So I'm now a left-handed player. I can do the same thing with my left hand. So again, a reasonable quality of shot with my hand in my pocket, my arm down by my side. So it shows you that if you're not able to hit a good quality shot, it isn't because of what the left arm's doing. So what's going on here? The reason that the left arm clears is because it's attached to your shoulder, which is attached to your torso, which you're going to be using as part of your kinetic chain. If you think about it, when you prepare for your shot, this is all active. I'm using my muscular force to hold this arm up, to hold this arm up as part of my preparation. If I just stop using my left arm, it's going to drop by my side because that's what gravity does. Whereas if I am driving through my back hip like I should be doing and through my torso like I should be doing to initiate the stroke, because I'm firing this and then this really quickly in sequence and my arm is attached to it, now momentum is gonna carry my arm into that position. So the reason that the left arm does what it does, or if you're a left-hander, the right arm does what it does, isn't because you should be consciously thinking about your left arm. Now, if you do consciously think about your left arm and it helps, great, but I think most of the time for most people, it doesn't. And I know this was certainly the case for me when I was learning to play left-handed, because at the start, my right arm wasn't clearing properly. I wasn't timing the kinetic chain properly. I wasn't driving through my hip, then my torso. I was kind of arming the ball. And because I was arming the ball, I would go to hit the shot and my right arm would just drop by my side. But whenever I tried to think about using my left arm, that would actually make my timing worse because now the ball's coming and instead of thinking about driving through the hip, which is what initiates the swing, now I was thinking about the wrong thing completely. And that adds even more time and it made me even later and made the problem even worse. So if your left arm, if you're a right-hander, if your non-hitting arm isn't clearing properly as you go to hit your shot, it means that there's a problem with your timing. It means that there's a problem with you sequencing driving through your hip then your torso, then your arm coming through, and the left arm is just a byproduct because of that. So the left arm not doing what in theory it should do is just an indication of poor timing. So if you want, to, if you want the left arm to do what it looks like it does on high level players, but more importantly, if you really want to improve the quality of your forehand, it's the timing that you need to fix. Unfortunately, fixing timing is one of the hardest things in tennis because 
you have to prepare and set up in the right position. So that's the first big challenge for people. And then you have to be able to read the speed of the ball, how far the ball is away, so you can start your swing at the right time. And then you have to have the coordination and the, the ability to sequence your kinetic chain properly to use the swing effectively. So it can be one of the hardest problems to actually fix. To help you fix your timing, I've got a free Tennis Vision Starter Program that's going to help you to improve the visual skills so that you can read where the ball's going better, so that you can track the ball better, and it's going to help with that side of things. I'll place a link up there to the free program and I'll place it down in the description so that you can start working on that. But I've also got a number of other videos that talk about how to fix timing in more detail because if I went through it now, it would make this video far too long. So I'll place a link in the description to one of my videos that talks in more detail about how to approach improving the quality of your timing because that's what you're going to need to do if you want your left arm to clear or more importantly, if you actually want to develop a high level forehand. So hopefully this makes sense to you. Try it. Go out on court, think about your left arm, see if it improves things. It won't. And when it doesn't, then start to understand it's all about the timing. It's all about being prepared and set up in the right position. It's about making the necessary adjustments and starting the stroke driving through your back hip. But again, that video will be down below that's going to talk you through how to actually train and work through the process of improving your timing. Okay, hopefully the video has been helpful. If it has, give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel. So much appreciated if you could do that. If you've got any questions about this, leave them down below. If there's any videos you would like to see, again, leave them down below and uh, I will get back to you as quickly as I can. Okay, I'll see you next time.